Hello, I'm Lance Zimmerman with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell, brought to you by Pfizer Animal Health. Most cattle producers understand the influence of beef demand on cattle prices. Growing beef demand has been one of the main sources of additional dollars within the cattle industry for the last 15 years. Declining supplies have also produced higher cattle prices more recently, as the industry has maintained steady to higher consumer demand. Going forward, demand increases will become more important. Supply reductions continue to threaten beef margins and pressure end users to pass higher wholesale beef prices on to consumers. Wholesale beef demand is typically at its annual peak during the late spring and early summer. It declines in late summer and then improves again into the holidays. The seasonal demand pattern has fit nicely in 2012, and year-to-date wholesale beef demand is up 4%. The USDA box beef cutout has improved $10 per hundredweight from October 1st to October 25th. Most of the price increase came from improving chuck values, where chuck roll prices improved $25 per hundredweight. Since then, end cut prices have declined between $5 and $10 per hundredweight on a primal basis, while the rib has improved $6. These price changes mark the beginning of what should be stronger middle meat demand from now into early December. The 112A boneless heavy ribeye price has already improved 70 cents from its October lows. This will remain the subprimal cut to watch going into the holidays. Improving cutout prices and wholesale demand generally depend on how the rib performs at the end of the year. The fed cattle market was steady to $1 per hundredweight lower this week, in light to moderate test. In the north, trade occurred at mostly $125 to $127 per hundredweight on a live basis, and $195 to $197 dressed. Kansas fed cattle sold for $126 per hundredweight, while Texas received $127. Feeder cattle and calf prices were mixed by region, depending on quality and buyer interest. The end of the year fall calf run is near, but winter grazing demand has also declined due to a lack of moisture in the southern plains. Slaughter cow values were steady to $1 softer for the week, and box beef values declined as Hurricane Sandy discouraged buying in the northeast. However, better interest should develop in the coming weeks as infrastructure repairs continue and consumers get back into a routine. Corn prices rose slightly as concerns grew regarding the South American crop. Thanks for watching, and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. The pressures are real, the risks are high, but the opportunities have never been greater. So how do you sort through it all to decide which way to go? For more than 40 years, Cattle Facts has led the way. Become a member at www.cattlefacts.com. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, our team is impartial, objective, our vision is global, and our focus is you. Cattle Facts, the deciding factor.